Izzy, that's a scary monkey. Oh, what are you doing? It's hurting him. Why, why are you hurting your monkey? <laughs> do you want him to do that to your eyes? He doesn't do that. Because he's not alive? No. Would Look. you do that to him if he was alive? Look. <laughs> chomp, chomp. I mean, we're father. I might have to say that that is the creepiest doll I've ever seen. <laughs> So here's the deal. I think it's too snowy for me to ride today. It's crazy. It's just coming down uh, and my hosts are so awesome and said, hey, why don't you hang out with us for the day? Check out our lifestyle. I'm down. I'm going with the flow. This is gnarly. All right, I'm ready to go. Well, I think I fit the part. I am the compassionate vegan hunter who shoots targets. <laughs> I think today's a day off. Yeah, today's definitely a day off. I am editing, chilling by the fire. It is snowing still outside. I, just, I can't bike. I mean, I could, but I think it'd be a little crazy. It's not supposed to snow tomorrow, and I'm in a great home, a great family. And yesterday was my biggest biking day of this entire trip. It's such a day off. Don't drink and drive. Oh, oh, oh. bad habits. Well, you. Uh, uh, me. You. Uh, Who's that? Come on, Joe. Hi. For two nights, I think. Really. Yeah. Cows in the house. That's the ranch life. Never let, in the, never let her in the house. Yeah, I did. Lo was in the basement <laughs> for two days without you knowing. You didn't know that. Like she just said, without me knowing. <laughs> and our baby Ram that we have, well, he's a weather now. He lived in our house, and actually he lived in diapers. <laughs> and wow. our house in Realm Street. We almost have a boy come in the house. Oh, our horse always tries to come in the area. So, Julie, you're prepping a vegan dinner? Be nice. Am I going to veganize this house by the time I leave? Maybe. That would be cool. That's a big zucchini. Did you grow that? 
Doe, a friend of ours. She runs the local um, gardening for us. So nice. We got fresh carrots, fresh yams, turnips. Come here, my little friend. Little teddy bear dog. Little stuffed animal dog. Okay. Come here. I got to close the door. I've been converted. Not going too far. Are you the king of the throne? Got leftover turmeric rice with Thai fillings, with beets, and peanut butter and maple syrup. That might be the most interesting lunch I've ever had. That was so delicious. I'm making a round two. So who are we gonna go feed? We're gonna feed the chickens and we're gonna give food to my horse from the sheep. Nice. Oh, Kitty's back in. She's like, I do not want to be out in the snow any longer. Ooh, it's raining. <laughs> oh, they want the dry hang. Yeah. Come on, Roy, you walk with us. We have some hay for you. If he doesn't help Brian and I are now feeding the cows. All 50 cows about eat one bale of hay per day. It costs about 75 bucks. This kind of stuff always happens on the road out in the rural country. People just say like, oh hey, I need to go over here. Will you please uh, drive my car over there? See ya, here are the keys. Am I qualified to drive in this kind of snow? Not at all. Ho ho ho! This is like the coolest family to hang out with when I get stranded in the snow. So my plan tomorrow is to leave around 10 a.m. or something. I'm convinced that the snow is only really bad up here. Like they live five miles or so out of town. I bet when I get into back onto the highway, it'll be a lot better. Hi puppy. So if you're wondering, what are the fate of all of these cows? Um, this is how it works. These are almost entirely mothers and uh, this family breeds the mothers with their few bulls, males that they have, and then the babies they raise for, I think like a year, and then they sell it to a feedlot, uh, which then goes to slaughter. That's pretty much the evolution of most cows. Most cows grow up out here in a great land, living a really nice life with tons of room to roam, they're fed, um, and then once the babies are almost mature enough for slaughter, they go to the feedlot where they get fattened up, and that's usually in a factory farm. Now, I don't know who's gonna buy these cows, but for most cows, you know, they grow up here on a family farm, get bought by a feedlot, live in a, you know, factory farm, confined and fed, you know, corn and soy for a few months, like maybe six months, and then they're fattened up to slaughter. So yeah, all women and just a couple males. More examples of how animal agriculture and eating animals is essentially just the exploitation of female sex organs. Like, you know, when it comes to uh, the probably the most abused and worst treated animals, egg laying hens, all women with cows, you know, dairy cows, only women pumped 
you know, pumped with machines on their udders that have ulcers and scabs. Again, this is the factory farm model. Most of the cows out there for up to 10 years, these women. Uh, and then these cows, again, mostly women. They got evacuated, I think, in the month of uh, July or August for the fires that were around this area of BC. And the family just like had to leave the cows and they just opened all the gates and just hoped for the best that the cows would be safe. And none of them got injured or died, but they couldn't eat for like, I think it was weeks because they were evacuated. The family couldn't come back to their house for like a month, I think, and then came back and they're all fed and they're all healthy. I passed the SUV in the snow test. It's time for me to already upgrade to the tractor. I've never driven a tractor like this. Hey cows, we eat the same stuff. I am plant-based too, I understand. I know it's annoying when everyone says, oh, how do you get so big cow? Where do you get your protein? I know you always say grass, it's what I eat too, I feel you. Take my tooth off. Take a deep breath, go. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Even louder, okay? Put your feet on the ground and lift your hips up. Yeah! Wow, it's been a crazy day. I almost drove that tractor straight into a fence. Um, this has been crazy. The kids, oh my God, I feel like on this trip I go from like being like, ooh, I want kids so bad to like, ooh, never again. But it's time for dinner and I'm almost fully caught up in the vlog. I'm, I will edit today's vlog today. That hasn't happened in over a month. We've got cabbage rolls made by Julie with all kinds of veggies and chickpeas. And then I made sweet, uh, potato fries. Nice, what are you gonna do with the 200? You already um, have it planned out. I bet you do. Yeah, I kind of do. Okay, so I want to, um, I want to save up half of that money, and then I want to get up, get my nails done, and then um, me and my sister are gonna have a girl day, and we're just gonna like get our nails done. And, you know. All right. Um, I was thinking of getting a longboard. I'm going on serving number three. Yeah. Have you ever seen anyone eat as much as me who comes into this house? Yo. <laughs> What what should be my nickname? Yummy. <laughs> Come back in that stay one more night. You see, Julie or her daughter, the 15 Izzy, years you old. You have to go to bed. Your mom's gonna get so upset if she walks in here. I'm your friend. I promise. What's your name again? You still you know. don't remember my name? <laughs> okay, I'm calling you Grandpa from now on. No. Yep, Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa. <laughs> no. Go to bed, Grandpa. No. Grandpa, you have to go to bed. No. What's my name? What's, um, what's my name? <laughs> Jack. Uh oh. Ooh, you're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble. My name's Jackson. 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 You're gonna get in trouble. Go. Home, go. Ooh, well, we're gonna go to the, the store soon, so if you don't go to bed, then I you're guess you're not getting any. So you're sending me off with all these? Yeah. I don't think I can carry all of them. I think it's too much. Why? What, what what will they do in my bags? They'll break. I've never carried this much stuff. So well, what do put we them have? In plastic containers. We have pears. What are these? Beets. Beets and apple pie filling. You are 
You're you're my mother of British Columbia. <laughs> you really have saved me and are keeping me carved up, which is amazing. Because I know you'll eat these. I love the beets. Jesse? I love you them. Got, yes, Jerry. You got our family. Which one? Bob uh, his leg? Uh-huh. No, I have not. Only one. How many show you your leg? <laughs> You'd meet her older daughter, Sierra. Yeah, I almost met them all. I'll show you my beat leg. I just want to thank you all for being like just the kindest and very inspiring, beautiful people. So. No problem. Well, when you're on your way back, you should stop again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll <laughs> I be really, here. I really appreciate it. All right, I got to figure out which of these amazing fruits to bring on my journey tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen? It's going to be a crazy day. Uh, I got to go Just rest. And I'm probably going to be riding in the snow Smaller on the ground. Hopefully oh, it's going to melt, it's going to be dirty, it's going to be slushy, it's going to be gnarly, and I love it. Much love, oh, no. Dream Extreme. <laughs>